What's your name? Rafi. Uh, Niels. My name is Nelson. Zach. Kristen, where are you from? Uh, France and Switzerland. Um, England. I'm uh, from France, but I live in the United States. Uh, I'm from California. Oh, France? Do they use this emoji in their life? Yes. A lot? A lot. Today we have some questions for you about the emoji. And the first is this. Oh, this is the crying laugh face. Crying laugh face? I, uh, I use it a lot when I want to express yeah. something that's really funny to me. Or even just to have a good time. I, I send somebody like a funny picture and I add, add that or my friends reply with this emoji and it's, it usually shows a lot of um, like oh I'm laughing so much I'm crying. Je l'utilise pour dire que je suis morte de rire dans des dans des sections quand il y a des blagues ou crying laughing face if someone says something very funny. Yeah. Do you know the official meaning? No, what's the official? I love you to tears before you're not happy and don't make you happy again. Oh really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Smile. Um, happiness? Um, if like I'm happy or if someone told me something good and I'll just say that like, in reply. I usually use this when I want to show that I'm happy about something but not too too happy. It's a little bit like mild mm -hmm. but um, I use it sometimes when somebody says oh I can't wait to see you so I instead of replying just like a sentence I, I send them this emoji. Uh, is that just a smiley face? Yeah, I'm just thinking it's like a big smile. A big, big oh really? Smile. Oh yeah I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Chinese people use it like the ironic smile. Oh yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. like, I have nothing to talk to you. It was this. Oh, it's like a blessing. It's for, um, like, thank God. Um, I use that as like a high five, like teamwork or stuff like that. I use it when I'm asking for someone, like, oh, like begging somebody, oh, please, please help me. Or like I'm praying that I won't have a test tomorrow. Or, uh, prayer hands? Like God bless or something like that, right? Pour demander s'il te plaît, s'il te plaît. After some disaster happened, I have to know I use this. Yes, yes. But the option meaning is thank you. This, um, like get, spending time getting ready, like doing like before the party, like doing your nails, stuff like that. Do you use this? Yeah, all the time. All the time. Quand je me fais bas, je me fais belle. Getting a manicure. And maybe if you're like feeling fancy or something like that. Nail polish? Nail polish. Yeah, polish. Yeah, yeah, the option also is nail polish. But Chinese people use it like, I have no time to talk to you, sugar's arrogant. This one? This one? I think it's a bit like sassy, like, oh, sassy. who are you? <laughs> sassy. Sassy. It's oh. like, oh, I don't care much or. Just rip it. I use that to like say, like, yes, like, Good job, like, you did well. Uh, that's like hair flipping the hair or something like that, right? Yeah, it's like what you would like. Yeah, it's, it's very like sassy. Yeah, like flipping yeah. the hair. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But the other thing is, is there anything I can help you with? Really? This one? Oh, this one, I this. think like, oh, I'm ready to do this. Like, I'm ready to do this? Yeah, like I'm ready, ready to start the race or, I don't know, like I'm prepared to take the test or, um, or maybe also like oh I'm hiding away from like the teacher who's <laughs> trying to ask her a question. Uh, maybe like you're waking up. I use that like thinking maybe like resting, but like maybe you don't know the answer, so you're like trying to think or something. Mm. It's quite similar to Chinese and to Chinese usage. We use it and uh, work so hard, but the option meaning is uh, to dip both, show respect. Oh okay. This is the last one. Thank you so much. Thank you.